Hey there gamers! So you want to play some Super Mario World ROM hacks on your PC but you don't know where to start? Well, there are four main things that you'll need. First, you'll need a copy of the hack that you want to play, which is really a patch or a modification to the original Super Mario World game. So second, you'll need a copy or ROM of the original game. Third is you'll need a program in which to apply that patch or the hack to the original game. We'll be using floating IPS or flips in this example. And then the last thing that you'll need is an emulator to play the game on, which I'll be showing you SNES 9X. And then, I mean, really there's a fifth thing. You'll probably want one of these. All right, so getting started, you're first going to go to smwcentral.net. This is where the vast majority of Mario ROM hacks will be uploaded by the creators. Uh, the site's a little difficult to look at between all the, the colors, compact text, all that kind of stuff. But what you'll be looking for is this pipe menu on the right side of the screen. And SMW Hacks is what you're going to want to click on. So here you'll be able to scroll through and see all the SMW Hacks um, that are available. You'll see the name. Uh, what's nice to see is how long it is, what type of uh, hack it is. So a Kaizo Lite, Standard Hard, who made the game, and then what the rating is between um, all the different people that have played it and decided to rate it. A trick I like to use is hitting this gallery view button at the top. Um, just gives you a screenshot, makes it a little bit easier to look at, but it's up to you. And then if there's a specific hack that you're looking for, filter results is what you'll click. And then you can, again, search by type. If there's, maybe you just want to look at all the Kaizo lights you're trying to get into Kaizo. Um, or if you have a name in particular. For this one, I like Quickie World. So we're going to use that as an example. So we'll be looking for the original Quickie World. So you can either hit download over on the right side of the screen. You can click on it, see a little bit more details about the game. And then there will be a download button here as well. So we'll have that downloaded and we'll take it from there. All right, so we downloaded the hack that we want, but before we leave SMW Central, there's a couple other things we want to do. So we'll scroll back up to the top and we're going to want to click on SMW Hacks again. And then we're going to look near the top and it's going to have in green floating IPS. So this program is going to allow us to patch the original copy of Super Mario World um, with the ROM hack. So what you're going to want to do is scroll down and hit download and you'll get a copy of flips. Okay, so now that we have flips, next thing we're going to want to do is click on FAQ um, and then getting started on the left side of the screen. There's a whole bunch of other tips and tricks over on this if you want to take some time to look through it. Um, but this will give you some very basic frequently asked questions. And what we're going to be looking for is the emulators um, section. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, there will be a spot that says, what is an emulator? It kind of explains it. Basically, it's a system that lets you play the games. Um, and you'll click on SNES 9X. Be brought to this website. You can click on whichever one you want. And then find it. And we are going to click on if you want the 64-bit or the 32-bit at the bottom. We'll click on it and download that. All right, so we're going to go back real quick to the last page. Oh, two pages back. And then the last thing that you may or may not, depending on the ROM itself, is 7-Zip or some type of program in which to uh, decompress a file. So you can click on that 7-Zip. Again, if you have 64-bit or 32-bit, click on the one and download the .exe. And again, that's only if the ROM that you get specifically is a .zip, RAR, or 7-Z file. All right, so now the last thing that you need is a ROM of the original Super Mario World. Now, since it's illegal to obtain these online and you can't possibly just Google it and try to find one there, uh, you got to make sure that you take a copy of the original game and you're ripping your own copy of the ROM. Once you have that, this is what we do next. So we have all the pieces that we need. We have our ROM hack. We're going to extract this. Again, I usually just do extract myself. Cool. We got that. I'm going to take floating, extract this, and SNES, extract that. Boom. Nice and easy. We got all the programs we need. Get rid of those. All right. So we are going to apply the patch. So we're going to click on floating. See this little logo with the little half moon and this tiny little window is going to pop up. So what we're going to do is hit apply patch. We're going to go to the file that we have the actual game in. So Quickie World, you're going to look for the little, little flower guy. Cool. 
then you're going to click on your Super Mario World copy. This is how the file name should look once you have it done. And then it's going to tell you to put it somewhere. And it says the patch was applied successfully, so we should be good if we go back to the main folder. We now have a copy of Quickie World version 1.12.smc. That's what we're looking for. All right, so now we need to open the emulator. So we're gonna go to the SNES 9X. We're gonna click the program. And easy as that, it opens right up. Now in the top corner, you're gonna hit file. You're going to load a game. And then you're gonna go back to the spot that you saved your quickie road file. You're gonna double click that. And it should load up. If the text is all white at the bottom as it loads, that means that it's great, good to go. Yellow should still also be fine if the text is that color, but white is what you're looking for. And now we have the game ready to go. All right, so the last thing I wanna show you real quick, because it took me a second to figure out, is how to configure your controller. So if you click input in the top, input configuration, this little menu will pop up. And all you have to do is start in the up button, click there, it will highlight green, and then you're just gonna follow as it goes through all the buttons on your controller to get it set up. Then I do recommend you allow the left and right up and down functions sure you click on those hit okay and then you are all good to go all right so there you have it that's all you need to get started with playing some super mario world rom hacks on your pc i hope you found this video helpful and i hope you enjoy playing some of these hacks it's a lot easier to get it set up than it is to get your way through some of these hacks they can get uh, extremely tough depending on what you're looking at but if this video did help you and you liked it please consider giving it a like smashing that subscribe button will be super helpful too but until next time we'll see you around have a great day. Happy gaming.